Hi friends, in the last session I have discussed regarding a flux, what is the meaning of flux and what is flux. So we have basic details about flux now. So as I already told like there are two types of flux, so magnetic flux and electric flux. So in this session I am going to cover regarding uh, magnetic flux. So what is this uh, flux? We will just try to um, uh, repeat it. So flux is basically to flow. So it is having imaginary lines that passes through a physical quantity or over through surface. So that is the meaning of flux. So now uh, what is this magnetic flux? We will try to understand. So magnetic flux is uh, defined as the number of field lines. So there it was flux I have defined with respect to generic wave field lines. It can be either magnetic or electric. So since it is a magnetic flux, magnetic number of magnetic field lines passing through a given closed surface so that means um, number of magnetic field lines passing through a given uh, closed surface so through surface how many magnetic field lines are passing so these are basically imaginary lines there is nothing like uh, we are able to see so it is completely imaginary so these imaginary field lines are drawn and uh, uh, trying to check whether these are passing through a closed surface number how many are passing in such a way so in that way uh, magnetic flux is defined so magnetic flux is defined as the number of magnetic field lines again passing through a given closed surface so it is measured uh, measurement of total magnetic field that passes through a given surface area so it is basically magnetic flux is the measurement of magnetic field i can say so magnetic field when i say magnetic field then i will say that is a imaginary lines which are passing through a closed surface uh, given uh, surface area so let us uh, consider this particular uh, diagram so in this uh, this is a surface basically which is i am pointing out now so this is surface so through surface uh, these are the imaginary lines which you can see so these are the arrow related uh, lines are there so these are imaginary lines so imagine as i defined magnetic flux as the imaginary lines means these lines passing through a surface closed surface area a surface area we can say so in this we have taken a surface area a part of surface area so with respect to that we are trying to define the uh, magnetic flux so these are the imagined lines passing through a surface area so this is nothing but the angle theta and this is actually imagined line is broken uh, or uh, uh, splitted into two components or decomposed into two components that is a vector and b vector with an angle theta so this is uh, regarding magnetic flux so why we have decomposed uh, into two components i already discussed in the previous session why the need of decomposition of two components is required uh, in order to ease the analysis of the concept so that is the main reason so now quickly move on to the next uh, is point that is it gives the measurement of magnetic field passes through a given surface area so it is measurement basically as when I to told like these are magnetic field lines passing through. So one number of pa lines passing through the surface area by counting the number of lines. As I told magnetic flux is nothing but the number of field lines passing through a surface area. Correct. So why? Why? What I will get by calculating or counting the number of field lines passing through a surface area? So that is a very important question. So how, what, what is the requirement of that? So with that, I am able to measure, okay, total magnetic field that is passing through this surface area. So because of this, we are calculating the num or counting the number of field lines passing through the given surface area. Okay, so this yellow color which I am showing now, this is the uh, surface area and these are the um, field lines which are passing through this surface area so magnetic flux formula so now i told it is a measurement of magnetic uh, total magnetic field so how this magnetic flux is calculated so formula for this is magnetic flux is the product of average magnetic field times the perpendicular area that it crosses so magnetic flux is equals to with this particular uh, sentence we can assume the i mean we can derive the formula as magnetic flux this magnetic flux is equals to magnetic field into area into angle between the planar area and the magnetic flux so this is the angle which i shown you so a vector and b vector are two uh, vectors which are decomposed 
and this is the equation hence with respect to this particular definition we can derive easily the equation as phi so what is this phi phi is nothing but magnetic flux so magnetic flux i will tell you before like it is denoted by a symbol phi okay or alphabet phi so phi is magnetic flux so magnetic flux phi is equals to a b or b a so this two components okay cos theta cos cosine of the angle between two components so this is the definition of magnetic flux as i already told you how it is derived it is very simple so magnetic flux is equals to magnetic field okay so what this is the magnetic field into area and uh, angle between the planar and the magnetic flux so the equation hence becomes phi magnetic flux is equals to ba cos theta okay uh, ba cos theta so next is magnetic flux now you can put different angle you can assume like various angles between two components then you can easily uh, i mean understand in a very clear way like uh, if you put theta equals to 90 degree zero degree how it behaves please try to uh, this as an assignment and uh, maybe you can uh, try to understand in a more easier manner so if there is any doubt regarding this you can definitely comment in the youtube comment section and i will definitely reply to that particular question so magnetic flux phi as i told you ba cos theta so how now measurement is done but in what unit uh, we will try to uh, say that this magnetic this much of magnetic flux is there so si unit of magnetic flux is weber so weber is a unit which is used to measure the magnetic flux okay so this is regarding magnetic flux so if you have any doubts you can please comment in the youtube comment section or youtube comment area and uh, saying the question or in apart from this particular topic if you want to understand any of the electronics or uh, in related physics okay so physics also you can if you have any doubt or electronics or any of the topic you can just comment in the uh, comment section and i will definitely cover the topic on that and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates so till then thank you Bye.